Let's say we want to find the equation of a line that goes through these two points, but we want it in a specific format. We want it in the format ax plus by equals c, where a, b and c are integers. So, first of all, it's useful to draw a little diagram to make sure you know where these points are. And it's good because then you can check whether the gradient you find makes sense. So minus 1, 3 would be a point there, and 13 minus 5 would be along and down a bit, so about there. So 13 minus 5, and then draw a line going through them. So we can already say that it's going to have a negative gradient. So we want to work out what that gradient is first. So m is the difference in the y-coordinates, so 3 take away minus 5, divided by minus 1 take away 13. So 3 take away minus 5 is 8, minus 1 take away minus 13 is minus 14, so that could be simplified to minus 4 over 7, so minus 4 sevenths. So we can already say that the equation of the line is y is equal to minus 4 sevenths x plus c. I now need to work out what the value of c is. I can do that by substituting in one of the two coordinates. It doesn't matter which. So I'm going to just choose the easiest one to work with, which is minus 1, 3. So sub in minus 1, 3. So the y gets replaced with 3. The x gets replaced with minus 1. So minus 4 sevenths times minus 1 is just 4 sevenths. And the c remains as it is. Now the 3 can be written as 21 over 7. I'm going to take 4 sevenths from both sides. So that c is 21 sevenths, the 3, take away the 4 sevenths, which makes 17 sevenths. So now I can say that the equation of the line is y is equal to minus 4 sevenths x plus 17 sevenths. Okay, so not very nice. It's not currently in the format that we want. So I'm going to multiply everything by 7 to get rid of these fractions. Okay, to get rid of the denominators here. So multiply through by 7, I'm going to get 7y. I multiply that by 7, I get left with minus 4x. Multiply that by 7, and I get just 17. I can then add 4x to both sides, and I now have it in the format that was required. ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers, okay? where they are whole numbers. And that's how we can do it. Go through the same process as, as in the previous video, and then multiply through to get it into the format, and rearrange to get it into the format that you